To submit an RSS feed submission task in Rank Crew, enter the page URL of the website you want to promote here. Enter the uh, feed URL, RSS feed URL of the website here under RSS feed URL. To check whether you have an RSS feed or not, not all sites do, you can open up a browser and as you can see here it says not found that means you don't have an RSS feed most likely um, because most with WordPress anyway most sites have RSS at slash RSS um, if you're not sure about that you'll just have to find out whether the whatever platform you use for your website has an RSS feed um, if it's a blog there should be one and it usually will show up at slash RSS um, whenever you do have one this is what it'll look like okay this is what it looks like um, if you have your RSS feed um, on FeedBurner. Um, there's some style in here, but there's other versions too. Um, if you don't have it on FeedBurner um, or one of the other um, feed aggregators like that, it'll just look kind of like code. It'll be XML. And let me show you that. And this is what that looks like. So this is fine. This is an RSS feed. It might not look pretty um, to the eye, but it does work just fine in RSS feed directories. So just make sure that you actually have an RSS feed before you submit it. Okay, so in this case, this is not a correct RSS feed, but just for this example, we're going to keep that in there. Just make sure that is an actual RSS feed. This button right here is only for the packages. So rank, at Rank Crew, we have some packages that include RSS feed submission, and we pull this same frame, the same um, page, all of these same parameters from the individual RSS feed task submission um, task. And in that case, you would check this box to say that my site does not have an RSS feed. Now obviously if you're submitting this task individually um, then you should have an RSS feed. Um, if you don't have an RSS feed then you should not be submitting this task. Um, so in the case of submitting this task individually you would not check this. That's only for packages um, where you don't have an RSS feed. All right, next you would add the title, and just with web directories, you want to make sure this is a good title of the website. This should not be obscure anchor text like click here or original source or anything like that. It should not be um, a URL. If you add those things, it will most likely get declined at the RSS feed directory sites. Um, we will accept it. We will submit it. We'll submit whatever you give us because some people have different... SEO strategies, different things that work, so we will submit it. We're a submission service, um, but we do not recommend you use anything other than a legitimate title. So a few good examples might be um, something like that would be a good title for um, this case, um, but we also offer this spin tax creator and you can add spin tax to any of these fields um, but this is a spin tax creator so this little tool will actually um, produce the spin tax for you and it will allow you to select different percentages for different titles so you could add that and let's say you want that 25% of the time let's say you want link building service 25% of the time you want that 25% of the time and then and then that 25% of the time. You click OK and that's going to create the spin tax for you and we will make sure that each one of them that you put is used in that percentage, whatever percentage you assigned it to, we'll make sure that that's used that percentage of the time when building the actual backlink. So that's an option that you can use. Um, and then the description, this should be a good description of your website. We do recommend a minimum of 100 characters and a maximum of 200 characters, excluding any spin tax variations. So um, it's going to be, you know, especially if you use spin tax, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have different characters, different um, number of characters per version. Um, so you just want to get a roughly, a, you know, a rough estimate of that, and it should roughly be uh, between 100 and 200 characters, or two sentences approximately for the description. Uh, for the title, the minimum character recommendation is 25 characters per uh, variation, and a maximum of 70 characters um, recommendation per variation. So as you can see here, I've highlighted one of them, so it should be a minimum of 25 and a maximum of 70 characters. Um, so that is the um, minimum and maximum 
characters for these and then in the description you want to make sure you do not have any URLs in here no HTML no links at all this is just text and this is just a um, approximately two or three sentence description of your website a again keeping those character limits in mind minimums and maximums um, so you can add spin tax here you can do something like this right here that has spin tax built into the actual description so our link builders would just copy this put it into a tool that renders the um, spin tax will give them one version of the many 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 different versions that this would create um, and we would use a new version for every um, submission or you can also alternatively just add a bunch of descriptions here so you add a full description here and say I want that used this percentage of the time you know whatever that might be add another one say I want that used that percentage of the time and you can go that route as well again no URLs no HTML in there and then the keywords just add um, a handful of related keywords um, usually recommend two to four um, but that's up to you and you can again use this um, to set percentages.